Sister, we welcome you to our community. You are what we have been waiting for. You represent the best of who we strive to be. Peace Jam, Terrence Roberts and the Prodigal Son Initiative favor all of the organizations that have been calling forth. Their prayers are answered today in your presence, in your struggle, in the way you move forth courageously. We celebrate you today. And together we all say, Ashe, 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 Ashe. 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 Hey, Brother Jeff, she has a poem, especially she just came from the Apollo. Our little Apollo sister Jay is going to come forward especially with a, tri a tribute to you in the form of a poem. Yeah. I'm Jay Harris. I, um, this July 28th will mark 27 years of my life and my life in Park Hill. I've been here my whole life. I'm, I'm a product of Park Hill, but I'm a different kind of product, so we got to promote this. So. And they need to see powerful women like you, so I wrote this piece called Women of Power. A woman of power exudes strength beyond measure. She exceeds stress as she triumphs over pressure. And you will address her as a queen. She has the vigor required to experience dreams. She gives hope a face, expectation a name, and she will prevail over any obstacle placed in her way. A woman of power is a survivor. She has passed the test of her time. She turns her test into testimony as she continues to rise. She is wise, the beholder of truth, passing a legacy of courage and wisdom to the youth. The woman of power is a nurturer. She cultivates her seeds. She protects them from the woes of the world and teaches them to love and respect our races, classes, and creeds. She teaches them to make their dreams come true. She makes what seems impossible possible and shows them that there are no limits to the things they can do. Her intellect demands respect. Her temple requires worship. She carries the world on her back as she takes her children by the hand and continues her journey into freedom land. So in honor of her, we must stand. Stand up for our rights. Stand up for the truth. Stand up for equality. Stand up with our youth. We must stand up for what we believe is right. And these women of power will be our guiding light. You bless the occasion. You bless the land. And now, before we hear from our special guest, would you please play, pray a special blessing for our sister. Well, Father, we thank you for this great woman of God who you allow to grace us with her presence. May you continue to use her to be effective all across this world, showing the peace. For your words tells us that Jesus said, I come that you might have peace. And so, Father, we thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding.